Hi, I'm Richard with EV for You, and this is the EV Minute. In today's episode, we're going to talk about six characteristics of lithium cells. The first three characteristics have to do with voltage. We've got a maximum voltage, we've got a nominal voltage, and we have a minimum voltage. Now, the voltage that we normally use for figuring uh, capacity of our pack and the voltage of our pack is the nominal. In our lithium iron uh, phosphate cells, that's 3.3 volts. And we charge ours to a maximum of 3.5 volts. And then the maximum discharge is 2.5. You never want to go below 2.5 volts. That's the point of no return. So the 3.3 volts is what you hear mostly, and that's what we're going to use when we multiply uh, a series pack by. So if you have 50 cells in a series string, you'd multiply 3.3 times 50. But you also need to remember that all of your uh, other you know, items associated with the conversion that use track, uh, you know, traction pack voltage must have an operating range between that maximum cell voltage and that minimum cell voltage. And if you don't, you're going to have problems. So like a DC to DC converter, it needs to have an operating range that's that maximum voltage per cell times the number of cells and also on the other end also. The other three characteristics I want to talk to you about today regard to amp hour capacity. Now with the amp hour capacity you have the rated value. So if you have a, a 100 amp per hour cell, that's what they sell it as, that's what it's uh, labeled as. But then there's an actual measured uh, amp hour value. And on the 100 amp, cell, 100 amp hour cells that we get, it's normally like 114, 116, somewhere in that ballpark. That's the actual measured amp hour capacity. So, and then there's the usable. And this is the one that's the most important because that's what equates to range. And so your actual usable uh, amp hours is going to be this. It's 80% of the actual measured value. But we tend to ignore that and we rate it based on, you know, we do it based on the rated. So if you have a 100 amp hour cell, that means you've got a one, or an 80 amp hour pack. And so uh, we tend to use that. So when we've used 40 amp hours, we consider, you know, half of our capacity, half of our range has been achieved. So that gives you margin. The fact that you actually have a little bit extra just gives you margin, and it's nice to have that reserve or margin. So how do you figure your pack capacity? Well, you take your cell voltage, and you, multi you know, and again, we're gonna take that nominal cell voltage, we're gonna multiply it times the number of cells. That's gonna give us our pack voltage. We're gonna multiply that times our amp hour rating. You can use either one. And then what's usable for calculating the range, which we have several videos on calculating the range, but it's going to be the usable, which is 80% of that total, is your usable capacity. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.